You're familiar with that sensation when everything appears to be falling apart. Yet there's someone who maintains their calm. That embodies Stoicism, a philosophy that transcends time and serves as a practical set of tools for today's life. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic Roman emperor, navigated through wars, plagues, and political intrigue with notable calmness. His wisdom, he recognized that while life is full of surprises and hardships, our calm response to these events is what truly shapes us. Now, picture applying that calmness in your daily life. Whether it's dealing with difficult conversations or adapting to life's surprises, in this video, we'll unveil 10 stoic lessons that can help you preserve your calm. These are not mere philosophical concepts. They are practical, time-tested strategies ready to be integrated into your 21st century challenges. As we delve into these teachings, keep in mind that the aim is not to suppress emotions, but to achieve mastery over them. With the guidance of Marcus Aurelius, you can approach every challenge with calmness, turning them into opportunities for personal growth and resilience. But before we begin, please subscribe to this channel. It help us a lot and cost you nothing. Let's get started. One, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness might seem complex, but it's really stoicism's secret to staying calm in our busy lives. Imagine you're in the middle of a busy day, worrying about the past or future. Stoicism tells us to just stop, take a deep breath, and be in the moment. Mindfulness and Stoicism isn't about big events. It's about finding beauty in normal things. Whether you're drinking coffee, going to work, or just breathing, every moment is a chance to be present. It means being fully there in what you're doing not lost in thoughts about other times. Let's get real. Start by using your senses. Look around, listen, and smell what's there. It's not just about sitting with your eyes closed. It's about really noticing the world. Enjoy every bite you eat. Feel each step you walk. Make everyday things into moments of mindfulness. And if your mind wanders, gently bring it back. This isn't about being perfect. It's about keeping at it, like a muscle. Mindfulness gets stronger the more you do it. Being mindful doesn't mean escaping life. It means being really connected to it. It's about facing challenges with a calm heart and mind. When you feel stressed, mindfulness is that calming breath you take before you act. It's realizing that the here and now is all we really have. Grab it and live it fully. This is what Stoicism is about. Not avoiding tough times, but living a life full of meaning. Mindfulness, simple but powerful, is your tool for a life of focus, calmness, and strength. Two, choose your response. You have the power to shape your life by how you respond to things. Stoicism, a very old but still useful way of thinking, teaches us that our reactions to problems help us grow strong. Like warriors in today's busy world, it's really important to understand this. When you face a problem, remember that you're in charge of how you feel, not the other way around. Think of yourself as a movie director, in control of every scene and reaction. When something unexpected happens, take a moment and breathe. This isn't a weakness. It's smart to choose a path that makes things better for you. Stoicism doesn't mean you shouldn't feel things, or that you don't care. It's about knowing what you're feeling, whether it's anger, sadness, or happiness, and then using those feelings to do good things. You're not just being pushed around by fate. You're the one steering your life through good times and bad. When you think this way, 
you see challenges as chances to get better. Feeling frustrated at work? Use that energy to come up with new ideas or learn something new. Feeling sad? Use that strong emotion to connect more with people or to understand yourself better. By choosing how you react, you're not just getting through tough times. You're growing, building a story of strength and self-improvement. 3. Be virtuous. Life can be busy and tough, and it's hard to keep cool and stick to what you believe is right. But here's a powerful lesson from Stoicism. Be virtuous. This means staying calm, even when everything around you is crazy. It's not about doing big things. It's about doing the right thing every day. Like being honest, brave, smart, and in control. These good habits are like a safe harbor in the middle of a storm. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Spoke Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher. This isn't just talk. It's about really doing it. It starts with thinking about who you are and who you want to be. Then, make sure what you do matches that. If you want to be calm, stay calm. Even when things are hard, if you think being brave is important, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. What you do shows who you are, not the problems you face. When you practice these virtues every day, you create a calm space around you. This helps not just with big problems, but with small ones too. Being stoic is useful. Even today, with all our technology, it means choosing carefully. When life is hectic, take a moment to think. When you feel mad or upset, try to understand those feelings and then let them go. Making these choices is how you live by stoic rules. It's not about being perfect. It's about getting better. Every day, by living these virtues, you're not just getting through life. You're learning how to live peacefully, step by step. This is what Stoicism is all about. A commitment to virtue as a pathway to inner peace. 4. The Value of Gratitude in today's fast-paced world, we often get caught up in wanting more and feeling let down, forgetting to appreciate the amazing fact that we're alive. But there's a lesson from Stoicism, taught by the wise Seneca, that shines through the incredible importance of being thankful. It's not just about being grateful for the big things. It's about noticing the little wonders we usually miss. Stoicism teaches us that being thankful isn't just a nice thought. It's a way to really connect with the world. It's simple to feel thankful when everything's going well. The real test is to find things to be thankful for even when they're not. Like seeing the beauty in a rainy day or learning something from a mistake. When we start to value all parts of life, we grow stronger and happier. Being thankful doesn't just make us feel better. It turns tough times into chances to get smarter and stronger. Seneca once said, Real joy is to enjoy the present without worrying too much about the future. This reminds us to be grateful for what's happening right now. The key is to start with the little things. Feel the sun's warmth. Enjoy a stranger's smile or listen to your favorite song. When we recognize these small pleasures, we create a habit of being thankful that helps us through tough times. This way, we don't just get by. We really live, finding a deep sense of peace and happiness that doesn't depend on what's happening around us. This is what Stoicism is all about. Not just staying calm, but living a truly satisfying life. If you agree with these insight and find them helpful, feel free to hit that like button. It's a good way to share this wisdom with more people and help our community grow. 5. Embrace what you can control. In today's busy world, 
Staying calm can feel like a huge challenge. But stoicism gives us a valuable tip. Focus on what you can change. It's not about ignoring life's problems, but about putting your energy into what really matters. Imagine you're a modern-day warrior, ready not for battle, but for everyday life. What's in your toolkit, your choices, actions, and way of thinking? Your day is full of decisions and actions, both small and big. That's where your real power is. You can't control traffic, the weather, or other people's moods, but you can control how you react. Stoicism isn't about hiding your feelings. It's about recognizing them and then deciding what to do next. Sometimes feelings come uninvited, but you can choose how much they affect you. When you feel annoyed or sad, acknowledge those feelings. Understand why they're there and then let them go. Think of your mind as a peaceful place, like a garden. What you plant and take care of there makes up your inner world. In this garden, you're both the gardener and the designer. Plant positive thoughts, take care of them with good actions, and get rid of the bad stuff. This way of thinking doesn't mean you ignore the tough parts of life. It means you choose how to look at them. By focusing on shaping your thoughts and actions, you create a calm place inside yourself that stays peaceful no matter what's happening outside. 6. Cultivate Resilience On our journey through life, we often run into tough spots that really test us. Have you ever felt totally overwhelmed, but still found a bit of strength inside that just wouldn't give up? That's what being resilient is all about. It's a quiet but mighty force that Stoics talk about. And it helps us keep going, even when life gets crazy. Being resilient doesn't mean you never get hurt. It means you can handle pressure without falling apart. Epictetus once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This isn't about pretending problems. Don't exist. It's about turning them into your strength. Think of resilience like a muscle in your mind that gets stronger every time you deal with a problem. It's about waking up each day, knowing life can be unpredictable, but still choosing how you'll handle it. You're in charge. Life is like a big work of art, and being resilient is your way of making it smoother, with lots of determination and bravery. Getting good at being resilient isn't easy. It's a tough road with lots of self-doubt and obstacles. But every little step you take makes you more stoic. Start by not running away from the hard stuff. Face it straight on. It's when you're up against challenges that you really find out what you're made of. When life throws you something unexpected, catch it. Take a close look and learn from it. Being resilient isn't just about getting through a storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain with a spirit that can't be beaten. 7. Use the power of acceptance. Acceptance is like a quiet kind of strength. Imagine standing by the sea, feeling the waves wash over your feet. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf them. That's what Stoicism teaches us about acceptance. It's not about giving up or pretending everything's okay when it's not. It's about recognizing what we can't control and going with the flow instead of fighting it. Think about a day that starts off badly. You spill your coffee, miss the bus, or forget something important. It's easy to let these things ruin your mood or even your whole day. But what if you just saw these things as part of life? Clean up the spill catch the next bus and take care of the forgotten task. Moving from annoyance to acceptance can change a bad start into a challenge you can handle. 8. Limit. Excessive desires. Ever realized you're chasing things that won't really make you happy? That's what happens when we want too much. Stoicism 
a very old but useful way of thinking, tells us to avoid this problem. It's not about having no fun. It's about enjoying what really matters. This idea doesn't mean you should give up on your goals or settle for less. It means focusing on what makes your life better. When you can't stop wanting more and more, it's like trying to find calm in, in a noisy place. You need to quiet down those wants. What you own isn't as important as how much it means to you. Think about what makes you truly happy. Is it the short thrill of buying something new or is it lasting things like a good friendship? Being proud of what you've done or enjoying a quiet moment alone? These things don't lose their value over time. When you stop wanting too much, you're not missing out. You're in charge of your own happiness. The richest person isn't the one with the most stuff, but the one who needs the least. What can you do about this? Start by making things simpler and not just cleaning up your house. Get rid of the unnecessary wants in your mind. Focus on what adds real value to your life. Friendships, getting better at something, and new experiences. These are the real treasures. And when you feel like you need the newest thing, take a moment to ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it make me a better person? Often the answer will be no. That's when you know that's when you know it's time to step back and appreciate what you already have. The chase for more never ends. But being happy doesn't have to wait. It's about living a life that fits with what you truly believe in. 9. Understand the transitory nature of life. Life keeps moving, and so should we. Understanding that everything changes is an important part of Stoicism. It helps us stay grounded even when things get tough. Life is always changing. Nothing stays the same for long. This isn't something to be upset about. It's a reason to do something. We should live in the moment, enjoy the little things, and make the best of every chance we get. It's about knowing that change is normal and learning to enjoy life even when it's hard, instead of just waiting for hard times to end. Marcus Aurelius compared life to a river, saying, Time is a river, a violent current of events, glimpsed once and already carried past us, and another follows and is gone. This shows us that life doesn't last forever. We shouldn't waste time thinking about what's already happened or worrying about what might happen. This doesn't mean we shouldn't plan for the future. It means we should be ready for things to change quickly. It's about balancing being ready for what's coming and enjoying what's happening now. Think about how this idea can change the way you live every day. Instead of holding on to old successes or worrying about what might happen, think about what you can do right now. The past is gone. The future is unknown but the present is here and now. When you accept that life is always changing, you find a kind of peace that doesn't get upset by the ups and downs of life. This isn't about not caring. It's about finding solid ground, even when life is hard. If you learn this lesson from Stoicism, you'll find a deep sense of calm inside you, no matter what's going on around you. It's a strong reminder that even though the world changes, your ability to stay calm and strong doesn't. It's like a light of peace in a world that's always changing. 10. Keep learning and growing. Life is full of surprises and challenges, but they're not just obstacles. They're chances to grow stronger. Stoicism teaches us to face these times with the heart of a fighter, not giving up. It's when we deal with the unknown that we really become strong. The philosopher Epictetus said, Who then is invincible? The one who cannot be upset by anything outside their reason choice. This timeless insight helps us get better at life. It reminds us to care more about what we choose to do and how we react than about things we can't control. Growing as a person isn't about how big the problems are, 
but about how we handle them. Every day, we make small choices that shape who we are and where we're going. Even the simple things we do can build a strong and brave character, showing we're serious about getting better. Everyone's life is different, and we can't compare our journey to anyone else's. Every step we take, even the ones where we fall, is a chance to learn. We don't just grow by reading or thinking. We grow by doing, by getting involved in the world, by seeing if our ideas and values work in real life. This is what modern Stoicism is all about. A real, active way to get wise. It means getting your hands dirty with life's messes. Knowing that's where you'll find the chance to come out stronger, smarter, and tougher. Go after your dreams with bravery and an open mind, ready for the lessons ahead. These 10 stoic lessons give us a way to handle life's noise and doubts with peace and control. Remember, real peace comes from inside. If you appreciate these insights and want to continue exploring stoic wisdom, please like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe for more. Stay stoic and connected on this journey of inner growth.